Hello everyone. In this video, we will be looking at the virtual agent integration with a third party application like MS Teams. So let's go into it. Let's head over to the collaboration menu. Now in this menu, we will deal with all things virtual agent for its configuration. And within this application menu, let's click into Managing Apps Integrations. And in this screen, you can see all things to do with integrating with Slack or MS Teams. Let's click on the Install button. So you can see it's telling us that you're about to enter a third party website to verify your identity and to continue. So let's click on the OK button. So here, I'm just going to skip over this, but I'm going to log into my Teams and we'll get this permissions requested. So what we want to do is consent on behalf of the organization. And then we will click on the accept button. And there you have it. We have the screen. You have successfully installed the now virtual agent integration for the Microsoft Teams. So the next thing to do really is to head over to Teams and finish this off. So click on the go to Teams button. And here I am in Teams. So I don't see the agent here for some reason. So what I ended up doing was clicking into the apps icon. And within this apps, I just typed in now and search for the now virtual agent. So I click into that and then click on add. And then I get a new icon on the sidebar and the now virtual agent has loaded up, which is pretty cool. So now we get this screen updated with a welcome message. Welcome to the now virtual agent. I'm here to help you. To get started, type hi. And of course, there is the click here for assistance or click the start button. So I'll click on that and we can begin the conversation with the virtual agent in the platform. But at this point, I need to tie in this user on this Teams with a user account on my ServiceNow instance. So I have these options. I could continue as a guest, which would be quite limited. I could check out some tips, but what's important for me is the link to ServiceNow. Now, I don't have a user set up yet, so I need to go back into my ServiceNow instance, navigate to the user table, and then I'll start creating my user from here. So let's click on new, and I'll give it the ID with the email address for my login, first name Shired, last name Shah, and I'll just put in Teams so I can decipher that between my other users that I'm using on this platform. I'll give it a password as I will need to log in as this user afterwards. And then before I complete this, I'm going to use that ID for the email as well. And this will be needed to complete the link. So I've saved a record. And before I can actually continue, the next thing I need to do is log out. And once I've logged out, I will log in as that user to complete the link. So now that I am finally logged in with this Teams user I've created in the ServiceNow platform, I will head over to my Teams, click on the link to ServiceNow button. And it's giving me a confirmation screen. And in this screen, you can see is matching the Teams account with the ServiceNow account, all based on the email address. So I clicked on confirm and there we have it. The link is now complete. And we can see this by looking at this text at the top, which says Microsoft Teams account, Shai Char is successfully linked with your ServiceNow account. Excellent. So let's come back into Teams and we can see that this screen is updated with further text. 
Thank you for linking your ServiceNow account. And then it begins with a greeting topic. So hello Shayed, let me know how I can help you. Uh, please enter your request, providing me with the options on how to proceed. And the helpful one is you can type hi at any time when you need to help. So here we go, let's click into these options and these are the topics I've configured for the agent. So I'll click on email issues, so then click on submit. And now I am in the email issues topic where I can start answering the questions based on how the topic has been configured in ServiceNow. So what type of issue are you experiencing? Uh, let's choose authentication issues and click submit. And here we go. So the agent has come back with a response based on the topic, giving me a few things I can try to resolve my issue. So try closing and reopening the email client or making sure that the username and password is correct. So let's click on yes, it did work for me. And then it asks, is there anything that I can help you with? And I have configured the agent to do this at the end of every conversation. So I say yes, let's choose another topic. Hmm, let's see, report an issue. So I'll click into that and I'll click submit. Now this is a custom topic that I have created and IRP means incident record producer. So this will give me a link. So let's click on submit. And there we go. Use this link below to submit your issue. And this is just simply a link to a record producer within the portal of choice. And there we go. We can look at the record producer and answer the necessary questions and submit my incident from there. Let's head back into Teams and we can see again, is there anything I can help you with? So let's try creating an incident through the agent. So with this picker, I'll go back and let's choose printer issues and submit that. What type of issue are you experiencing? So let's see the options. So I'll just choose one at random. Printer doesn't turn on, click submit. And here's some troubleshooting questions to try out. So verify the print is plugged in, making sure it's on. But let's just say I've gone through these steps. It didn't really work for me. So instead of clicking on yes, I'm going to click on no. Okay. Would you like to open an IT incident to get further help? And of course I do. So I'll click on yes, because for this printer issue, I need help. Alrighty, so the agent has created an incident and it's given me a card with a short description, the necessary priority and the incident number. And I have my option to click on the button and go to the incident. And there we go, this is my ticket, the incident that I have raised. So I'm happy with that, let's close this off. And then back in here, I'll just click on no, I don't need any more help. So here we go now, it's interesting. So the conversation has ended and it's instructed me that if I want to talk to the agent again, I'll type in hi. And this greeting is what I have set to be the greeting that is default for my Virgil agent, which is showing the name and the active incidents I have. And I just typed in help now, just to see what additional commands I can get from the agent. So I know hi is to start or end a conversation or click restart to begin a brand new conversation or I type an agent to be able to transfer my discussion to a real live agent or log out. I won't do the log out. But I'm going to try something here. I've just typed an issue and this is cool now. So the agent has found a few topics which match to that particular keyword. So report an issue, email issues or printer issues based on the topics I have selected. So I'm just going to 
say none of these actually apply to me. I'm going to try this reporting issue. Okay, that doesn't work very well, but let's say I'll click on, I want something else. And there we go, no problem. And it's given me a chance to go back to the topic selector and pick a topic of interest. So let's click on get password reset link. And there we go, default self-service. And I have my link to begin the password reset process if I need to. Well, in this case, I don't. So I'll close this off and come back to Teams and continue my conversation with the agent. So I'll click no here. And there we go, the conversation has ended. If you need help, again, type hi. So that's it. You have the integration, let's confirm on the ServiceNow side. So back in the instance, I'm going to log out and then I will log back in as an admin. Once I am back in, I will go back to the collaboration menu. And again, I'll click on messaging apps integration. And there you have it. You can see under Microsoft Teams, I do have a particular integration already set up for this particular organization on Teams.